Yeah. Time now, 5 o'clock on this Thursday evening, November 28, 2013. Time now for the Weather Magician PJ Wiggins, that evening report. Thanksgiving evening, Thursday evening, November 28, 2013. Good evening, everybody. Our current conditions at 5 o'clock in North Massachusetts. We've got temperature 32 degrees with a humidity of 32%. First, guys, with a wind speed about what's about 6 miles per hour, barometer 3.29 inches, 2.5 degrees, visibility 10 miles, and wind chill 26 degrees. <gasps> okay, let's take a look at our radar scope, and it shows a couple of little blobs of snow showers in northern New Hampshire, stretch out into Maine, and into New Brunswick, and stretch in western and west of Vermont, down to eastern New York State, and down to central and western New York State. And some lake effect snow covering western New York and around Buffalo and Northwest Pennsylvania, stretching through northeastern Ohio, down through Ontario, down through Michigan, and down through southern Lake Michigan, and stretching down to northern Michigan, down through central Wisconsin, and down through UP of Michigan, and down through northwestern Wisconsin, and down through northeastern Minnesota, and southern Ontario. And the snow shots covering in southern and eastern Quebec, and down through central New Brunswick, here. A couple of little snow and sleet and rain showers in western Prince Edward Island rain showers in central and eastern Prince Edward Island in Canada. Sleet and rain and snow belts in eastern Nova Scotia. A couple of batches of rain showers off the Southern California coastlines for off Los Angeles and San Diego. Where? Line of rain showers in southwestern British Columbia and another batch of rain showers in sub central British Columbia. Line of snow showers in eastern British Columbia and rain showers in central British Columbia. And a sleet and snow pelts in northern and central Alberta. Line of snow showers in northwestern Saskatchewan. Line of snow showers in southern Manitoba. Kill me off, took out a good evening. 15 degrees with field clouds here. All right, let's take a look at a satellite open it shows. This, this, this door, we have a lot of college students, a lot of them are they're calling us in early November asking for a long shift on a, on a holiday payday. And for the most part, no incidents, no problems. A lot of clouds from Eastern Seaboard, from Mexico stretching out the Eastern Seaboard and stretching in Atlantic Canada and stretching out in Northern Maine. Another batch of clouds covering Western Pennsylvania and New York and Ohio stretching out through Great Lakes and stretching out in Northern Illinois and another batch of clouds covering in Gulf from Mexico and down for seven Texas and down in Mexico. And another batch of clouds from northern North Dakota, northeastern Nebraska, down for South Dakota and North Dakota, and now in northeastern Montana, down for Saskatchewan and down in Alberta, down to British Columbia, and stretching in eastern Washington. Another batch of clouds from Wyoming and Idaho, down for southern Montana, stretching in Utah, and down to Nevada, down for southern California, and swelling up and stretching in British Columbia, Canada. All right, let's. But it's important to note the calendar offers six fewer shopping days between Thanksgiving and Christmas. And Invest 90L movement at 5 miles per hour at 330 degrees and wind speed 35 miles per hour. Okay, let's take a look at the map situation. High pressure centered in eastern Carolina, is down for eastern Kentucky, and southern Mississippi. And another high pressure system stretching in eastern Utah here. Final boundary from southern Colorado, down for northern New Mexico, and down for northern Texas, down to oh, central Oklahoma. And another final boundary from northern Wisconsin, and down for Minnesota, and down for southern Ontario. And a cold front from Alberta, stretching down from Montana, down to Wyoming, down from Nebraska, down to Iowa, and a warm front from southern Wisconsin, down to southern Michigan, down to Western Ohio. And a cold front off the British Columbia and Washington coastline, and then a century front, pink front off California. 32 degrees, that temperature in Boston, 39 out in Washington, D.C., 48 in 48 in Atlanta, 73 in Miami, 60 down in Brownsville, 52 in Dallas, 38 out in Kansas City, 33 in Chicago, 26 in Minneapolis, 49 out in Colorado, 48 out in Albuquerque, 49 in Denver, 48 out in Salt Lake City, 52 in Great Falls, 48 in Seattle, 62 in Zephyr, 68 in Los Angeles. All right, let's take a look at our seven day forecast. Are you, anybody those are flying on this Thanksgiving holiday? Nope, no air to blaze reported there. All right, seven day forecast. It goes like this for tonight. Hartley Cost got lower than 19 degrees. What's been about 5 to 7 miles per hour coming common after midnight? Friday, both success guys either 3 to 4 degrees. Come when becoming northwest about 5 to 8 miles per hour on board. Friday, that both coast got lower 60 degrees. Northwest about 5 miles per hour coming common in the evening. Saturday, both success guys either 3 to 3 degrees. Come when becoming northwest about 5 miles per hour in the afternoon. Saturday night, a chance with snow showers maybe after 4 a.m. Class got lower 27 degrees. Southwest went about 3 to 5 miles per hour. Chance with 30 percent. 
Set the chest to snow shots before 10 a.m. Then a chest to rain and snow shots before 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. Then a chest to rain shots after 11 a.m. Class guys are high at 43 degrees. Chest participation is 50%. New participation amount of less than the 7 inch possible. Sunday night, most of class guys lowered 33 degrees. Monday, most of class guys are higher 41 degrees. And Monday night, most of class guys lowered 31 degrees. And Tuesday, I checked rain and snow showers. Most class guys are 40 degrees. Stress participation is 40%. Tuesday night, most class guys lower 20 degrees. Wednesday, most sex guys were higher 40 degrees. And Wednesday night, podcast guys lower 25 degrees. And Friday, 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 and let's take a look at the traffic situation. Everything is smooth sailing on the highways and byways of Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Rhode Island there. And there's an it. And this is PJ Winsor. You have a good evening with a good positive attitude. See you at 11. Happy Thanksgiving.